<laughs> the flat bang actually is um, kind of a child of how current mixing is happening in the NICU. So nurses currently will just take the bag and they'll flip it every so often. Uh, we just basically expanded on that technique and decided to, to automate it. We are Team Nutriflow. We are a senior design team at Rice University composed of bioengineering and global health students. Almost 10% of infants are actually born premature and will need this enteral feeding, which is what the kangaroo pump is doing right now. But our kind of status quo right now is that while you're trying to feed these infants with the pump, you'll lose about 50% of the fat in a mother's milk, which actually won't reach the infant. So along with that, you end up losing a lot of the nutrients that bind to it and actually some of the immune-boosting proteins. The key to improving the fat delivered to the baby through our device is keeping the milk moving. So again, what we have here on our device is we keep the milk moving in both the bag and also through the tubing. This works in two uh, big ways. We, have, we, we mix the milk in the bag by using an inverter here, which mixes about three times every three minutes. And also, once every five minutes, we have a recirculating loop that takes the milk from the bag that's been freshly milked and brings it around a, a loop here to keep it moving throughout the tubing, bringing it closer to the infant. Through this, we're not really affecting the milk in any way. We, we have no components that are touching the milk. The milk remains at room temperature throughout the duration of the feed. Um, all we're doing is really just keeping it moving and you know, improving the fat content in it. We were just able to talk to some doctors and nurses just last week at Texas Children's and showed them our device. And so many of them were very excited that we were addressing this problem because it's never really been addressed. And so for those infants that are really sick and really small and they need all of the fat that's in that breast milk, if they can receive all that fat and grow, then they'll have such a healthier future um, than those infants that are using the old technology that they might miss out on 50% of the fat that's in the breast milk.